Morning everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. This video picks up just minutes after the other, oh, an hour. It did freeze last night. I don't know, it's melting now, but um, we did have a frost. I don't know if I can find it's starting to melt over here. So it must have just warmed up. It must have been cold briefly and then warmed up. Over here somewhere I saw some frost on the grass. Um, starting to thaw. Yeah, the sun is up now, but yeah, we had a light dusting of frost. You can see the white on the hairs, it's it's melting. Yeah, it's not anymore. But uh it's fading fast. But you can see Oh yeah here. It's uh not much left, but there's some frost. As evidence see the little furry frost hairs so oh there's a bunch right there yeah I, f I knew there was a shady spot right there's a whole mess it did freeze last night um, surprising so my estimation was correct and I'm happy we did cover our garden and everything's alive and well the kale we don't cover, it's just fine. And our plants are loving this this weather. Look at the beans are just growing new growth. Very, very nice. Um, here, look at how healthy that is with flowers coming on it. Um, all the new growth here, flowers coming on everywhere. Here, flowering. Very good. This one is all new growth, spreading out beautifully. It's a little squash from the tarp and here's a different kind of bean flowering and branching out and this one wants to climb so I'm gonna have to give it a pole to climb on I'll stick the stake back up and let it climb so we have some good climbers um, sadly we broke off a branch of a potato I hope that doesn't affect anything because that was the flower but the potatoes are growing here and yeah with the weeds are thriving so Oh, it's a constant problem with these uh, sorrel plants this year. Here the potatoes are still growing. Um, I'm going to do a harvest hopefully today. I am working off our property a lot, so um, I'm not doing as much video anymore. It's hard for me to uh, work a full-time job and run a full-time YouTube channel. It's nearly impossible to keep both going. And it's nearly impossible to keep the homestead up because I wanted to dust this with... Um, baking soda and water to save the plants but because it's so humid and wet um, I haven't had a chance there's new growth but I'm losing the majority of the plants to this white powdery mildew so I don't know if this is the end for some of these but there's some new growth they're trying anyway uh, got something to harvest a lot of food to harvest acorn squash is taking shape nicely over here I don't know what that is oh it's a cucumber we're gonna have cucumbers eventually and summer squash galore I have to harvest it all and then I'm going to preserve some of it I'm gonna dry some and uh, um, like mom used to I'm gonna slice it up and she did it with zucchini and cucumbers but I think this will be just the same slice it up thin salt and pepper or uh, um, light brown sugar coating even honey there's big ones. They're all through here. I'm going to harvest all this later. And as well as the... Well, yeah, there's frost all over here where the sun hasn't reached yet. I'm going to harvest the uh, uh, mustard. And then our beans are climbing really nice now. The pole beans are really climbing up. We have to harvest the colored greens, if that is what it is, I guess. I have to pick out the worms because I've just discovered there's camouflage green worms all over them and um, they're hard to find and I've got some peppers to harvest oh and some uh, I think I'm not sure if that's um, what is that Swiss chard or some kind of lettuce but we got some salad to eat and a lot more weeding to do so it's looking good guys looking good the tomatoes I just don't know if they're gonna make it they're just too late for them we'll see what happens but they're protected along with the peppers anyway as we go so we'll see what happens here it's partly cloudy 
I got my meter uncovered so I can look here and show you something. I've got, uh, oh it dropped down. I was pulling 800 watts a minute ago and it's in float mode. When the sun peaks, I'm pulling 800 watts and uh, yard's going up a little bit. I've got just over 800 watts there. Look at that. I've got I had over 800 watts coming in a little bit ago. Um, try to catch it. Of course, it's partly cloudy. 744, 748. I uh, I peaked over 800. So I've got two. Um, two hundreds and two two thirty fives hooked up. The other two panels are not hooked up at this moment because I'm redoing some wiring. I've got partly overcast and I've got a, a mining rig running right now, pulling five hundred watts continuous. So that is pretty cool um, to have seen that pulling over eight hundred watts out of four panels. That's the most I've ever seen before, and we're still in float mode with only half the panels on right now. We're still in float mode, which is really, really awesome. I can't believe it. I have a mining rig running right now, and we're in float mode. So the 24-volt system is so much more efficient that it doesn't even affect us at all with half the panels. Once I get the other panels hooked up, I'll be able to run even more stuff. Still in float mode. Mining cryptocurrency for free on solar power. And it pulls in whatever it needs. I can't believe it's still in float mode. That is cool. The um, power is fluctuating based on the uh, uh, clouds going over, but it's hitting over a thousand watts, thirteen hundred watts at times. Takes what it needs. Staying in float mode. That is cool. Well, guys, I am exhausted. This morning I went out and cut oak firewood for our homestead I've been working for firewood this is not it and uh, so I've been working for firewood um, off the homestead and then some friends of ours invited us over and we had a wood cutting party and here's two cords that's about a cord and that's a cord a little bit more just a little bit more than two cords I think um, of pine but it's it's well aged uh, we split it today and uh, loaded it four four trips to our house so two trailers was a cord we heaped it a little higher so I think it was just over a cord per some of the wood is a little bit long we'll recut it some of it is perfect we just did all of this this afternoon I think it's 8 o'clock at night, so we've worked four hours straight on two cords of wood that was already cut. You can tell by the ends it was already cut. We just split it today and hauled it home. So uh, four hours to process two cords of firewood. Um, that is a relief. That is a major, major relief. Like you wouldn't believe. I've been stressing about firewood for a while. Yeah, sure, it's pine. But pine burns and pine's gonna give us heat and I got two more cords of oak coming next week that I'm working for I got to cut it myself and split it myself but I'm working for it so we're getting it so all I did today was cut firewood from morning till night eight o'clock at night all I did today was cut firewood now we're gonna leave this out here in the Sun a couple days probably and start slowly stacking it up well, that's gonna double triple our wood pile that we have I, I think well we're gonna find out what it stacks up to but um that is such a relief alright guys we still have to cover the garden tonight I might do that now Melanie's preparing dinner we just got home um, we've been working all day on this so um, the ladies worked and the guys worked, we all pitched in together, so it was quite a day. So she's preparing dinner, I think I'm going to start covering the garden and call it a night. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. 
Please like, subscribe, and share, and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. Good night.